Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to my new top 5 series. Today we will be going into the US premium tree and I will let you know what my top 5 is. Let's go into them magnificent planes they are. At number 5 we have the US Spitfire LF Mark 9C. It sits at 5.7 battle rating in both realistic battle and arcade in which are the two modes where I fly it out usually. The plane is a tier 4 plane and it is available in the American tree for 6900 Golden Eagles. An excellent plane, great energy fighter and turn fighter. It transitions between those two roles very smoothly and you can definitely dominate turn fights, dog fights and scuffles uh, at mid to low altitude with this plane. That is no problem at all. It is not a boom and zoomer. It is not competitive in that department due to the early compression and it's very difficult to get guns on target. It's also a bit fragile and will lose wings in long dives. It is best at mid to low altitude, uh, not a good on high altitude. It has good control. You feel constantly in control in this plane and the plane listens very good to your input. Good armament as well with two Hispano Mark II's and um, yeah, excellent plane all in all and that's why it comes in at number 5. Beware of the flaps though because they do rip off very very easily. There is a link for a full review on this plane in the description box below. At number 4 we have Tatches F2A1 Buffalo, a plane sitting at 2.3 battle rating in realistic battle and 2.0 battle rating in arcade. It is a tier 1 plane and it is not for sale at the moment. It is usually in events these days where Gaijin makes it available and you can earn it. Before that it used to be the original starter premium you got for free for the American tree but that has been changed to another plane and this has become a regular special premium. It is a very good boom and zoomer plus turn fighter. Energy fighting it can do a little bit as well. Jack of all trades you could call it best on mid to low altitudes but still not bad at higher ups. Good armament on the plane for its battle rating with 350 cals and one 7.7 machine gun and a plane that I love to have shenanigans in all around. Really a lovable plane and a plane in which I had amazing results. Thus it outshines the Spitfire LF Mark 9 for me and is one of the most efficient planes at its battle rating for the price it used to have. If you can earn it, if there is an event for this plane then I would definitely recommend you to go for it because this premium is very very strong at its battle rating in both realistic battle and in arcade. So very very much recommended. Again for this plane there is a link to a full review in the description. At 3 we have the P51A Mustang sitting at 3.0 battle rating both in realistic battle and in arcade. This plane is a very very fast plane, a fantastic boom and zoomer with high maximum and top speeds in a dive, fantastic plane. It can also energy fight a bit, you definitely do not want to turn fight with this plane because that is not it's Forte. It's a tier 2 plane and it's an event plane. It was once available for the Thunder League when they had that. And it was one of the planes you can earn through events and stuff like that. They will have it available now and then through events or Facebook uh, um, actions and that kind of stuff. But it is a fantastic plane to get when it becomes available. It is good at the higher altitudes, but also still very, very functional at mid to low altitudes. Very, very fast plane at its battle rating. One of the fastest at 3.0 battle rating. It stomps everything else most of the time. 
The armament on this plane is 450 cals, that is, which is very nice with a nice ammo load on them as well. It does get a little bit sluggish when slow, but all in all this plane at its battle rating is very competitive and I have always loved the flight style of the P-51s. You have another early P-51, the Cannon uh, Mustang, but um, this one steals the ground at that battle rating with its performance. It is, in my eyes, the best P-51 at the lower battle ratings and an excellent premium to get for the American tree. So keep your eyes open. When this plane becomes available, you definitely want to get it if you can. You can find a link to the P-51A review that I have up in the description box. Coming in at number 2 is a Bostwick's uh, P47M1RE a Thunderbolt and the Thunderbolts are very strong at the moment if you had not noticed and this one is the best of them. It also has the highest battle rating, it sits at 5.7 battle rating in realistic battle and 4.7 battle rating in arcade. It is a fantastic boom and zoomer, boom and runner. It can also energy fight and when it's fast it can even make a turn or two, although that is very risky to do. It is a tier 4 premium and it's available through a bundle in the Gaijin store. It costs 29.99, let's say 30 euros. It is also available in the Wings of Victory pack and the Wings of Victory pack contains uh, 5 other planes I believe, 6 in total and they sometimes put that up for 50% discount. All the planes in the Wings of Victory pack are amazing and it's definitely something to think about if you don't have this one yet to get that Wings of Victory pack when they have it available for 75 euros because the total worth of that is about 150 I believe. So all in all very nice pricing sometimes on that pack but if you want this plane alone it's 30 euros right now. It is great on the higher altitudes, but also performs very nicely at mid to low altitude. It is fast, it is agile when it's fast, and it has fantastic firepower. It has 850 cals, very lethal, and it's also versatile in a sense, with uh, great bomb load options. It can function both as a fighter and a ground attacker, although I would not recommend using it as a ground attacker. You can find my you can find a link to my complete review on this plane in the description. And then finally at number 1 we have my favorite American premium the US BF 109 F4 sitting at 3.0 battle rating in both realistic and arcade. It is a rank 3 uh, premium and it is available in the American line for 1300 Golden Eagles. If you look at this plane and you compare price 1300 Golden Eagles with quality, which is excellent, this plane is an energy fighter Pursang with a great ability to boom and zoom as well. It is reasonably maneuverable, but it is definitely not a turn fighter. You want to use this plane in the boom and zoom roll and energy fight when you're in a pickle and only turn when there is no other option available to you. It is good on the higher altitudes but performs very nicely again at medium to low altitudes as well. It is a fast plane, it has a 20 millimeter cannon in the nose, the MG-151, which is uh, legendary, I really like that cannon, plus two machine gun in the nose as well very centralized firepower and excellent plane in the handling. I have always loved the BF109 line and the F4 is one of my favorite planes. So this plane available in the American tree is definitely a treat and a plane that you should be getting for 1300 Golden Eagles. If you get a discount on it, it's a no-brainer, but for 1300 euros alone this plane is absolutely magnificent i love the flight style needed for this plane you need to be disciplined but if you are that disciplined and focused in what this plane is good at then you can absolutely wreck havoc and that why that's why it is my number one favorite premium plane in the american line 
check out the description box for the link to the full review on this play. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment, and if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.